I attended the Game Expo, which was a gaming convention which has a two-day Smash tournament as one of the many things you could do there. The best players in Australia, as well as Neo, one of the best players in all of Japan, had come to Melbourne to compete. And this right here was my match to make it out of pools into the top 48 bracket. Anyway, they're Lilat going. Lilat game one. Okay, let's cook. Lilat, yes, a lot. It's weird, a few Roys. And as you can see, I am rusty and I am already dropping very easy Game & Watch combos. Uh, the more vloggy kind of footage will come later in the video, by the way. We are jumping straight into this because I came to the Game Expo just to have a nice holiday and chill out. Um, however, while I was there, I kind of got convinced like, yo, you should make a vlog out of this. And I was like, you know what? You're probably right. I'll, I'll make this a vlog. So please drop a like if you want more vlog content. The chef move called? Is it just called chef? Yeah, it's just called chef. Literally, game watches oh. names. Mars needs to go for something crazy here. Oh, yeah, yeah that would have done mess. it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, Mars gets very greedy here, as you can see, with the side B, and I'm able to win game one. I'm not sure why he was looking for side B. There done. We go. Pack it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really strong. So he wins game two, and we're into game three. There, last year. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this, this is probably the biggest tournament he goes to recently. And the lion will take it. Chair. The lion. <laughs> the lion? <laughs> lion or lion? Lion. Lion? So I'm up 2-1 right now. It is a best of five. And I'm bringing this game back, although it's not looking good. We're going to name the turtle Saul. Saul. Yeah. You named your turtle Saul? Uh, no, I'm naming uh, Poppet's turtle Saul. No! What? Almost kill him with that forward smash. I get him off stage, and as long as I play safe here and don't do anything dumb, I've got the win on. And so now we move on to game five, and I did a little dastardly trick to try and get game five something a bit more in my favor. I chose the music, right? And I went and I tried to choose, like, the dumbest song possible. They, they are really cooking on the song choice here. Okay. Oh, they put out right? a deep cut. And then I just put my headphones on. I wasn't li He was listening to the game audio and the game music. I just put my headphones on and started listening to Spotify. Look, the, the tactics that were coming out game five, okay? I was, I'm seated to lose this match. Mast is seed 11. I am seed 22. I've got to do everything I can to try and win game five. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, just get buried. And as you can see, I was getting in his head. I'm getting the reads, baby. The music is working. If these two were to fight in real life, who do you think would win? I mean, I know... I know Me. Mast, like... I do jiu-jitsu. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, players... No way they say Mast. I do jiu-jitsu! Did you not see me in Coney's video? I'm insane! It's coming from behind the curtain! It's Smash Content Creator and YouTuber Poppin' One! All the way from Australia! I wonder if that saddle will offer an additional level of protection as Poppet eliminating the Nintendo Switch off on the side seems kind of short-sighted. Okay, things start to get a bit spicy. I'm gonna just let you guys watch this next uh, sequence of events. Just like, labbing the match up IRL. Wait! Oh, what? Well, okay. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> oh what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Mars <laughs> <laughs> pays in kind. <laughs> Hobie stock. <laughs> and with a lot of talent, thought, and skill, I was able to win game five. And I am in winner's side, top 48. And that is all for day one. Damn, I'm up so high. How am I up so high looking down on all these peasants? It is because I am in the VIP room. They had a VIP room with free unlimited alcohol. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you guys that, but it was crazy. And as you can see in here is when I got convinced to start vlogging. And my good friend Jack said, yo, I'll do a little dance and it'll get the vlog hype. <laughs> is that like a gang thing? And since I was able to win my pool, I was rewarded a lemon from this generous fan. Shout outs to all the fans I met. I, I don't know if I should like say your guys tags or real names on this video. So I'll just say thank you to everyone. I met so many people and you were all absolutely lovely. I think like... Must be like 15 or 20 people came up to me at this event to say hi, which is crazy. I didn't know. Um, now this sounds like I'm bragging. Let's move on. That was, that's weird. You are probably thinking, what the hell is going on here? Well, this was the after party for day one of the tournament. It was like a club and they had like just dance on stage. Uh, it was a bit weird, but it was good fun.
And this after party was very gamery because they also had a Smash Bros tournament at the club. You had to play random characters. It was on random stages. But because I've done so much casual stuff in underdogs, I felt like I had a good chance to win, even though there were other top tournament players there. I managed to win this first game, and by the way, it's best of one. You, you lose one match and you're out of the whole tournament. So I win this. <laughs> what the fuck? And well, 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 look who it is. Mast is here, and he wants a little bit more spanking. Now, unfortunately, he was actually beating me this time. I got no yes, yes, Jordan. Jordan. No, Jordan. Jordan. It's over. It's over. No, man. Every set winner points. Hang on. 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 Yeah, I'm actually the GOAT. Yes! Yes! And shout outs to this guy who is now my new best friend. I win another match ma managing to, to... Whoa. I win another match managing to two stock Srix, who is one of the best players in all of Australia. And so then I was in grand finals and I got my favorite stage in the whole game. <laughs> And so everyone was really happy that I won the whole tournament. I They said I would get like a prize, like a gift card. I, I'm not going to lie, I haven't heard anything. Um, so hopefully that comes and it's not just a scam. Okay, and could, could someone explain what is going on in this picture? We, we took this as like a top three photo. Look at the back window. It looks like daytime. But guys, this was like 10.30 at night. What is going on? What is that window? Doesn't it look like that it, there's light outside and there's a tree? This is uh, me waking up uh, the next day. This is where I was staying. I was kind of just like sleeping on a couch. And there's my clothes. So shout outs to Extra L and Pudge who were generous enough, generous enough to house me. Um, their house was really nice. The bathroom though, I will say, kind of looked out that like that scene in Harry Potter where there's all the spiders. And uh, there was a lot of spiders in the bathroom. But other than that, it was great. Now, funnily enough, the Formula One was being held on this same weekend and it made Uber extremely expensive. Like, we went to check Uber to take it to the tournament and we were like, why is this like $70? So we decided to take the train, but unfortunately, the train was going to get us there right before the tournament started, so we weren't going to be able to warm up. And then disaster struck. Ernest had forgotten his phone and his headphones at the house and we had to run back to get them. And now we were going to be too late to make it to the tournament. So we hopped in an Uber and uh, eventually anyway. And for, so for some reason I had a discount, so it was only like 30 bucks. So it wasn't too bad actually. So this is like what the tournament looked like. And I saw this guy vlogging and so I thought that was funny. So I vlogged it. So I took a quick poop and then I went into the tournament to see my first opponent warming up against Game & Watch. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of tools there that you can be innovative with, but why innovate when we can nair Game & Watch here? Pulling off a decent ledge trap until Zach was able to set up oh, his tech situation with the orange. He's already dead! And the warm-ups paid off. Jesus Christ. That is... Probably the second craziest Pac-Man combo I've ever seen in my life and it happened to me Which is very unfortunate, but after getting absolutely smoked and three stocked game one game two was tight Ooh. And that hydrant lived Still alive Zach gonna be have to deal with another one of these ledge traps It's a back air from pop one and that's gonna take it now I don't know what was going on with small battlefield, but we went back there and once again I was getting three stocks, so I started to just look for the hammer didn't work. Pac-Man has got meat, he's got muscles. He's going to get the kill if he hits that bell. Oh, oh no! Finally, okay. himself just ahead of it. Sorry. Oh, I got scared for a second there, but he's oh, the two frame alive. from the F smash. He's still alive and the tech. Nice tech. He's not going to go just yet. Jordan, 
keeping himself alive. The side beat, that's punishable, no! but not spacing it well what enough. And the key is flying off into the Aether. Both of these players missing their windows of opportunity. I mean, for how for how well paced this game has gone as we're heading into the last minute, it feels like we're all just throwing options Reflected now and right the at the end. He's caught it as well. Caught the reflected melon. If this projectile's going everywhere. This hitbox is going everywhere. Just Pitch wants to up. find one kill move. Somebody, please. This is so scary. You don't want to get hydranted. <laughs> exactly. It's like anything that could send you off stage with these two is scary. The up smash. He's First. going into oh, his rolling. master. <laughs> oh, my oh the alive. back throw. Not enough. Jordan. How does he do it? The apple is in hand though. Apple kill is on deck if he wants it. Throws it. Can't re-catch it. Makes it back to ledge with the up B and the air dodge. No up smash way. on the shield. Not punishable. Sir, the hydrant is going to be enough. We're seeing a game five. Now look, you might be thinking, why did you take Kazia to final destination? And hear me out. If Game Watch is, is on point and playing good and got his combos, he can zero to death Kazia in my opinion just as well as Kazia can zero to death Game & Watch. Unfortunately, I wasn't hitting my combos, and Zach has been hitting his combos, so I lost. And I shouldn't have gone to FD. But I was not out of the tournament just yet, I was down into the loser's bracket, and unfortunately, I ran into my best friend and we had to fight to the death. <laughs> Do you want to be in the vlog? Sure. Sorry, I should have done that actually. I shouldn't have put you in the vlog. I, I shouldn't have done So I won that and then I had my next match up against Dags, who was a top player from Queensland. I wish I had the set recorded, guys, but as you can see by me shaking, it was an insane game five clutch. I don't know how I managed to do it. Uh, and you guys won't see what happened, but trust me, it was it was a nuts game. And so then I ran into my opponent who knocked me out of last year's TGX. And do I win or do I lose? Hey guys, just lost. Yeah. And so I was out of the tournament, but the fun was only just beginning. I decided to do a bit of exploring and there was this guy making music with like, I don't, I don't know some gamer, gamer sounds. There was also a bunch of art, which was very cool. And then I went back to the stage and now they were, they were, they were cosplaying. And let me tell you, people go absolutely bananas for cosplay. Like the crowd and the cheering was, was like more intense than like a Smash tournament. Like cosplay goes super hard. Now this is the time where I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go this way because I'm not a contestant. So I'm just going to open the shovel. So respect to the cosplayers, they were bringing the hype. However, now it's time to get back to Smash Bros. Kanaji, one of Australia's best players, was up against Nao and they went to game five. Hey, come on. Okay, Kanaji, the absolute beast, did it. His mum in the audience was cheering him on. I'm not being racist, like that's actually, that's his mum. Shout outs to her for coming along. And honestly, it's just really cool to see that Australia has slowly caught up to the top level scenes like Japan and America. Cause back like, because back in Smash 4 days, I'll be honest guys, Australia was so low level compared to America and Japan. Like it wasn't even close. Their top players would just be three stocking our top players. And now, Kanaji is beating top players in the entire world. So that's just really cool to see, and I'm sure Australian players will be getting top eights at top level majors very, very soon. 
But what was I doing down here with the peasants? I forgot about the VIP bar. So I headed back up into there and was chilling. And they had a projector screen so I could comfortably watch Kanaji win the tournament for Australia and take down Nao. Uh, no! Uh, he lost. Um, but it was a great time. Oh, and also on the on the plane ride home, I saw the person next to me. They used like paper to hold up their phone so they didn't have to hold it, which was pretty cool. And so then I was like, yo, that's so cool. Can I take a picture? 